everyone, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to be doing my November wrap-up and December TBR. I can't believe 2017 is almost over, and I can't believe, like I said, I can't believe it's almost over, but I have some good rain month this month, and some bad. I'm just a little tired right now because I try to figure out what my, how good my, Rain is this month, but I'm pretty sure it's good, and I have so many books on my TBR, and good thing I have Christmas break coming up, so I would catch up on Rain then. So, let's get started. The first books I've read and I've listened to them on audiobook, which is The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien, and I have The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. I am... I've read before, but it was for my literature class two years ago, and and I enjoyed the series since then, and I actually want to listen to them on, I reread them on audiobooks, so I, oh my gosh, I really enjoyed them on audiobooks. Having multiple people playing one character was really nice to listen to on audiobook. If you have not read The Lord of the Rings, I don't know where have you been, and all that, but um, but this trilogy is about this hobbit who um has to be the one to destroy the one ring which many bad people are after. So I love the trilogy, and I I've read the Hobbit as you can see. Um, the reason I've read the Hobbit is because I never read it, and it's what it's like a prequel to the Lord of the Rings. So I was like. Might as well reread them, and I'll read The Hobbit before that, and I enjoyed both books really well, and these three are 5 out of 5 stars for me. The next book I have read in November is The Upside of Iron Quay by Becky Bertelli. It's about this girl who has 27 or 26 crushes, and she just uh, never acts on them, and her sister tries to encourage her to go for it, and all that, and... Oh my gosh, I love this book so much. I thought it was funny and cute at the same time. Oh my gosh, this is, I have to say, this is one of my favorite books of this year. And I don't know where on my list, but I'm going to be doing my top whatever numbers of 2017. And when I post it, I'm going to link it down below of this video so you would check it out. But this book is a 5 out of 5 stars, definitely. Oh, and I did a spoiler-free review on this video, and I'll link it down below so you guys could check it out. <laughs> the next book I've read in November is The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. I really en enjoy this book. It's about this girl who, um, who was trying to focus on her finishing up the classes when she graduates, but then she ends up being um, a, a bull rider, and they end up start a relationship from there. But this book tells two different couples' perspective, and I really enjoy that. I've seen the movie before I read this book, but I'm the kind of person that's like, I like both of them as long as there's a little bit of changes I'm okay with, but... I didn't expect the book to be really different from a movie, but I still enjoyed it anyway, so I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. Next book I've read in November is um, Geekerella by Ashley Poston, and this is a contemporary retelling of Cinderella. Oh my gosh, I, I enjoy this book as well, and oh my gosh, I, I just love the characters in this book, and I loved how like they're exactly like the characters from Cinderella and I I really enjoy it because it reminds me a lot like a Cinderella story from um on Hillary Duff's version because that was one of Cinderella story versions that I liked and it reminds me a lot like Gigarella Gigarella reminds me a lot like this version and this I I really enjoy this book as well, so I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. 
Next book I've read in November is The Awakening by Kate. I forgot her name. I read this for my literature class. I really didn't enjoy the book at all. I just find a plot not really interesting and it was pretty boring for me to read, so I gave it two out of five stars. The last book I've read in November is The Great Gatsby by F. Fitzgerald. Uh, this is actually a reread for me, but I have to read this for my one of my literature classes, but I still enjoy it and and I gave this book five out of five stars. Now let's talk about my TBR for this December. The first book is Princess and Love by uh, Meg Cabot. This is a one of the sequels to The Princess Diaries. I actually current reading it slowly. I've been busy during my Thanksgiving break, but I am will try to get through this book. It's not that long, like about more than 200 pages, so I would try to get to this book first before I get to the other books on my TBR. The next book on my TBR is Spelled by Betsy Scow. This is a um, Wizard of Oz retelling. I know it, this wasn't my last TBR video, but I'm currently listening to this on audiobook and I'm really enjoying it so far and I'm hoping I get to this soon because I want to read the sequel Wanted, which is a retelling of Robin Hood. So I really want to get to these books this month so I can like talk about whether I like them or not because the last book of the series is coming out next year and and I am really curious about it because it's a retelling of Keen Arthur and I'm really interested in reading Keen Arthur so I really want to read both of these by the end of this year. The next book is The Book Jumper by I forgot her I can't pronounce her Name, but it's about this girl who discovers that she's a book jumper, obviously. I just really want to get to this book. I love the cover. It's like screaming my name, Jordan, read, read me, read me, read me. But um, I haven't gotten to it, but I'm really hoping I will get to this by the end of this year as well. The next book on my TBR is The Never Ending Story by Michael End. Um, I don't know what this book's about, but I know there was a movie about it, but I got this as an anniversary present from my boyfriend, and I want to get to it, so I let him know how I like it. So, this would definitely be on top of my TBR because of that. <laughs> Next book on my TBR is The Princess Bride by William Goldman. I really want to read this book because the last time I read Will I Tingly Don't Count It is big because my 6th grade teacher has read to me and my classmates and I want to physically read this book and I grew up watching this um, watching a movie out of it and I want to read this for myself and and I'm pretty sure I will love it because I love the movie so much. The next book on my TBR is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Sapia. Um, it's about this girl who created this mutual world or something and then this guy wrote fan fiction out of it but he doesn't know it's her but I've heard so many great things about this book I makes me want to read it more. My TBR is I See Lynn and I See Friends by Sarah Manlowski. i sorry I can't pronounce her last name really well but it's about these girls who plan on a European backpack trip and then this girl's best friend's ex-boyfriend um, came along or something. I don't know, but I I just love this cover. It looks like a journal. I mean, I I love journals because I'm a writer, but I this just grabs my attention, and I want to get to this book really soon as well as the other books on my TBR. So that's all for my November wrap-up and December TBR. If you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below what's on your TBR for the last month of 2017 or which books I should start with first because I really want to know and 
I just want to get to these books really soon so I wouldn't have to be all stressed about how many books I want to read when there's so many books on my TBR on my shelf that I'm not in the mood for at the moment but if you want to follow my social media I have Facebook under the Lost Reader and I have Twitter and Instagram under Lost Reader 19 and if you want if you like my channel hit subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye